Follow me today as I make this beautiful fall wreath. I'm using an old wreath I'm gonna recycle and almost everything else is from the Dollar Tree. You gotta watch this. Today what we're gonna do is start getting ready for the fall. September is right around the corner and we're gonna have uh, mums and pumpkins and gourds and all kinds of fun things hanging around that we'll be able to decorate with. So what I'm gonna do is repurpose an old wreath. Uh, the pieces that were on it just kinda couldn't handle another season. So I'm going to repurpose this and we will get this up and show you how it looks, okay? So let's gather some materials. All right, I've gathered some different materials and believe it or not, most of this is from the Dollar Tree. They have really, really stepped up their game this fall. I have cotton. I have sunflowers. I have cattails. I have some beautiful colored mums. And they do have little berries and stuff with them, so that's pretty cool. And then, I don't know what kind of flower we're gonna call this, but I really like it because this is a little bit of a burlap finish on, the, on some of the leaves. I do have my ribbon, but this was from, I'm gonna guess, Hobby Lobby, not quite sure. And then check this out, little pumpkins. And this was also from the Dollar Tree. So let's go ahead and get started. And I never really have anything in mind as to my design. It just kind of evolves as we go. But I am thinking that in the end, I do want to put one of these in here. So I do want to make sure that I save some space for it. Let's first cut these flowers apart. Okay, now that we have everything cut, uh, separated, let's go ahead and start kind of deciding how we want to do this. And this is going to give us a lot of really nice dimension. And this one here, I he fell off of something here. I will glue this on. the way down here. I'm going to turn this around to get a closer cut. So that we still have a decent looking pink.
Okay, I've placed a few more items. I'm trying to get a little bit of filling in done here. I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna wrap them and pull them tight. All right. Now, I really don't need all of this, so I'm gonna cut these real short and then I'm gonna kind of pinch them and tuck them in. gonna put a bunch of glue on him. I'm gonna pull away a flower here and I'm gonna tuck this in here and I'm gonna use my stick. Once that dries, I'm gonna puff him up a little bit and then we'll have some pretty accents in here. Okay, let's look at this. I need to hang out. I want to make sure that I can see this cotton. I think I want to put some kind of a sign in the middle of this and it may have to get shortened but for right now I'm going to paint it which I'm kind of thinking maybe the khaki khaki will be good I wanted to put something in the center of that and so I found a phrase on my Cricut and I just cut it out and it just says I love fall and I had one of these little um, little clipboard type things that I had bought at Michael's a long time ago in order to do something with and never got around to it. So I have painted the board and I have put a coat of Mod Podge on it. Okay, I've got my little clipboard painted and Mod Podged. And then I put a layer of Mod Podge on the paper when I put it down. Put it kind of around the edges so it just kind of glows. I'm gonna put it throughout so it just kind of gives it a little shimmer. Ooh, that makes that show up a lot. That shows up really pretty. Finish that sign and we'll get that in there and we'll get this thing hung. So this is the finished project and I'm gonna explain what we did here. Um, originally I had used this and I painted it, applied Mod Podge. This is a piece of cardstock and then I uh, applied my vinyl to it, Mod Podged over that and while it was wet I put this really pretty uh, orange glitter on it and I think it turned out beautiful and unfortunately it was just too big to get in there the way I wanted it so instead of just destroying that one I made another one now what these are is um, little wooden clipboards that you can buy at Michaels and they are like 99 cents back in the wood section I took this one and I sawed right here so that I could remove this bottom piece, okay? 
and then I went ahead and painted it, did the exact same thing that I did with this one. And then right up here, I decided to put a little button. And then I put uh, one of the little flowers here and it's got a little bit of glitter on it too. So I was able to snake that in, into the back. And it is really just kind of wedged in there. It didn't end up needing to be glued in any way, shape or form. So once I got that in there, I was able to put on my bow. And the bow is not really large, but since we were sweeping in both directions so well, I wanted to go ahead and just fill this space. I'm gonna give this a quick spin so that you can see it. So I hope you really liked this video, and I think it's something very simple that you could try. And the wreath I had, but everything else with the exception of my ribbon and the sign, came from the Dollar Tree. Everything was a dollar. So I think this is something that would be pretty simple to make and very, very inexpensive. So hope to see you next time. Have a great day. Tie it, pull your loop off.